So today we're talking about minimalism in your business. You've heard about it in your house, cutting out all the crap, the things you don't actually need. So we're going to talk about that in your business today, how to do it and why it's so important. All right, so A, what is minimalism? The concept of minimalism is taking it down to just what you use in the season of the life that you're in, right? Um, We've been really considering minimalism just as our household and cutting out all the excess stuff. I think I threw away three gigantic black black trash bags of clothing that I don't wear, that doesn't fit, and that doesn't suit my style or my lifestyle right now. And what happens is, When you cut out the clutter, when you cut out the crap, you're going to spend more time on things that matter and actually see, A, that you're going to have a lot smoother transition from one task to the next. B, the the cleaning is decreased by at least half, so you're spending a lot less effort doing the work that needs to be done. And then it's just, it's simpler to see what you need to do. And it's very important in your business to take this same approach, even more so for me than um, in my household. Because when you think you have so much to do, your mental real estate, remember we talk about this a lot, this is the most valuable real estate you will ever own. So you've got to protect it, right? So what you need to be doing is working on your mental real estate and eliminating the trash and the clutter and the crap. So what does that look like in your business? Sometimes it can look like networking events. Sometimes it can look like evening events with other realtors. Sometimes it can look like handwritten notes. Sometimes it can look like, oh, here we go, CRM work. There are certain things that are or can be considered clutter. And here's the definition of when something becomes clutter in your business. It means it's taking your focus away from what matters. Okay, so taking your focus away from what matters. So if you are so focused on 50 different things, like your CRM, attending this event, and then also writing these 30 handwritten notes, and you're so concerned with getting those done, guess what? It's clutter and it needs to be eliminated. So here's what you do. Again, the minimalism is only having the things in your life that are valid for where you're at in the season of your life. Okay. I'm doing this weird thing today for some reason. So where are you at in the season of your real estate business? Okay. So if you are at a building point and you're just getting started, there are a few things that are going to be essential to you that you have to focus on. And maybe those networking events with other realtors are not it, but maybe the events where you're meeting people out in the community are the most important thing. So you really have to cut all of the excess crap out of your life and make sure that you're focusing on what really matters. Okay, so maybe you are, maybe you've been in the real estate business for about two-ish years, you've kind of got a clientele going, you understand the contracts, you understand how the business works, but you know the market's shifting and you've got to focus on making sure you get enough clients, okay? So in that case, there's going to be some differences between what you would have found essential two years ago when you were just getting started, which was learning the contracts and understanding the process, maybe uh, continue education is not as important. You just need to get your basic hours done and get that eliminated. But maybe what you really need to focus on is how to find more clients and how to look attractive to your clients. Maybe it's about building videos and putting a social media presence out there to make sure people know that you are an expert in your field. So you've really got to consider where you're at in the cycle. And maybe you are one of those lucky agents that has been in the business for 10 years. You know the process, you have great referrals. And at this point, it's more about just staying up to date on what's happening in the market, making sure you're not falling behind on technological basis, maybe making your life a little bit easier because you already have these referrals. So you wanna focus on automation, so you have less work to do. And you really just kind of figure out what those essential points are. Again, with the boom, boom, boom. So where are you at in the season of your life? Are you in the beginning stages? Are you really trying to figure out the business and slowly grow your clientele basis? 
Or are you more in the middle and you need to start eliminating some of the basic stuff that you used to do as a brand new newbie agent and you're really to start ready to kind of grow and dig deeper and really bring value to your clients and start building that strong, strong reputation as an expert in the field? Or are you already an expert in the field and you're just trying to kind of make it automatic and just do maintenance? And what are those key things that you can do? So remember, we're working on minimalism in your business, and here's why it's so important. Because when you have too many things to do, you cannot focus on the most important thing. We talked about the book, The One Thing, and that's so important. You've got to focus on the one thing in order to get anything done. So you may be doing an inch here, an inch here, an inch here, but you're only making this much progress, which if you focused on one or two core things, you could make this much progress in the same amount of time. So consider that today, minimalism in your business, what's truly essential, what can wait, what are you not even ready for, maybe it's something you need to let go of that you thought you needed a long time ago and now you know better or now you've grown out of that season of your business and it's time to move forward in a different direction. So consider minimalism, I promise you will feel much more accomplished when you cut the crap from your life, when you cut off the excess and you can get it done in a shorter period of time and it takes less maintenance. All right. Talk to you later, guys.